Hello, it's Pete Checkley for Sample Library Review, and today I'm checking out World Suite 2 from UVI. Back in 2016, UVI released World Suite, which featured all kinds of playable instruments, loops, and ensembles from around the world. At the time, there wasn't anything quite like it in terms of the scope and diversity to be found in an all-in-one package. Now, nearly four years later, the expanded World Suite 2 has been released, promising more instruments and more musical styles from around the globe. Join me in a virtual tour of our wonderful planet, courtesy of UVI. World Suite 2 downloads at 39.15 gigabytes and has over 65,000 samples, 369 instruments and over 10,000 loops and phrases. It runs in the free UVI workstation or Falcon 2. It's priced at 299 euros. Before I jump in, I'm going to present the video in Falcon, although this also works in UVI's free workstation. Now, if I scroll down to the bottom, of my UVI libraries, there is World Suite 2. And you can see the folder structure, it's structured by region, and just dropping down that menu, you can see all the different regions that are available to us by type. So it's another way of looking for the content by type of instrument. Loops and phrases, which I'll look at in more detail, but again, these are by the different regions. Travelers, which are great instant ensembles, um, absolutely brilliant feature. So we'll look at the new travelers shortly and all the vocals. Now, there's been a lot of coverage of the original World Suite. Uh, so I'm going to focus primarily on the new content that World Suite 2 has to offer. To start off, I've loaded a charango, which is a 10 string lute instrument from South America. Sounds like this. Now, very quickly, before I jump into the sounds, the GUIs are really intuitive. They always show a picture of the instrument so you know exactly what you're playing without having to do too much research. At the bottom, the keys, you have the red keys are the key switches. The white keys and the colored keys are always playable notes. So you can see those being pushed down and they play. And the gray keys don't do anything. That's not a great key, excuse me. Okay, so really, really straightforward. And then you also have different options. So in this one, we have uh, on the sound category, fret noise. You can adjust how much fret noise you hear. So let me just do that very quickly. So more fret noise. So you can hear the fret sweeping there. And you can turn it off if you want a really, really clean sound. Okay, and then the release, um, so we can change the release amount. If we take it off, you'll hear the difference. Completely stopped. If I want to keep the release going, so it goes on a little bit longer. Uh, you could change the sound of the instrument to the timbre. So each instrument has tonal variety. Then you have expression, so you can change the velocity curve, um, the ADSR uh, envelope, EQ, so bass, middle, and treble, and different varieties of reverb, so you can see the different options you have there. So it's such a straightforward and intuitive instrument to use. Now, you can use the key switches, or you can just change um, at the top there. So now I've changed to the chords. Okay. And that's all there is to it. So really straightforward to use and you can get straight in with the sounds. So I'm going to turn the mic off and I'm going to play through different regions of the playable instruments first. For all my playable demos, I'll be focusing on the new content of the World Suite 2 library, and also I'll be 
choosing selected highlights. There are 48 new instruments, so I'm just going to play a sample of those for you.
There's some good examples of uh, the instruments you can find in World Suite, and there are absolutely tons. Now, if we go by type, just really, really quickly, let's say Bell Metal Gong. Um, let's open some Gamelan from Indonesia, classic. See how quickly these patches load, which is uh, absolutely great, and just play away. Now, obviously, so I've got the mic on, I'm not trying to hit the keyboard really hard so you can hear the key noise but you get the idea if I just go for a gamelan gong um, once again loads really really quickly and you can just hear you know the instruments are just there ready to play now there is uh, some level of uh, volume adjustment you may have to do. Um, I'm actually just doing it very quickly within Falcon. Um, really straightforward, but every instrument's slightly different. And it's not the way the sampling is done. The sampling's absolutely top notch. Everything sounds brilliant, really, really clean. It's just the different types of instruments. So that's just something you need to look out for when you're recording. But of course we set our levels you know, when we load the instrument, so not a problem. So you can search by type and you get all the different categories, um, bell, metal and gong, fretted string, key, percussion string and woodwind. Let's just open a woodwind. Really, really impressed with uh, the winds. And you can see the new content does have WS2, World Suite 2 on it. So let's just open folk recorders. I'm going to do it on the wheel for this one. Um, but you can load it as velocities and it'll sound like this. So that's a tenor version. If I use a key switch, so there's a bass glissando. Sounds great. And I really like the way UVI put the key switches really close to 
what you're playing so they're not opposite ends of the keyboard i use um a 61 key controller so for me that's useful i can actually key switch while i'm playing really really straightforward so that's sort of searching for instrument by type now this brings us to the loops and phrases section. Now there are over 10,000 loops and phrases and they're all separated by region. So let's just pop to Asia and get a uh, shakuachi. Now all you do is highlight the loop and press play to audition it. Okay, uh, really simple, here's the next one. So these are proper performance-based loops and you can stack them side by side or mix them up and you can see they're all separated by different keys so you've got plenty of options. Now let's say I really like uh, this one. Okay, so what I can do is click on the loop and pick it up and I can drag it directly into my DAW. I can also pick it up and drag it straight onto my desktop and it will become a WAV file. Now this is a really cool feature because you can drop it into your DAW any way you want, convert it, mess around with it, um, and you can pitch shift it if you want to change the key. So all of these loops can be used in different keys. Now, the other thing you can do is put this into UVI Workstation and it will become a playable loop across the keyboard. Now, that will change the pitch really, really well, but it will stretch the timing. You can also do exactly the same thing in Falcon, and then of course you can further manipulate it using Falcon's engine. So these loops are fantastic, and as they're performance-based loops, I'm gonna turn the mic off and play some of these for you.
there's a handful of examples from the loops. Now, there are over 10,000 of these and they are so usable. I've used them in so many productions. Um, you, you'll never need to buy any more loops again. And they just sound so authentic and give your music that sort of life that uh, you'll want, like the human element, because they are really, really great performances. Now, I did play some West Indies percussion loops at the end, which moves us really, really well to the Travellers. Now, the Travellers are complete ensembles, and the new content for World Suite 2 is the Middle East and Traveller 2. Now, to create really, really quick rhythms or melodic parts, these are absolutely fantastic. So, I have loaded the Middle East and Traveller 2, and if I just play exactly as it loads. And that will loop and loop and loop. Now you can play that in any key, so it was C. Okay, so different keys. Now, you have various different controls. So first of all is the volume. Well, you can remove one of the six tracks. So let's say I want just the string section. Or I may just want the percussion. So really quick way of adding those. Okay, and the different controls you have are the uh, pan left and right, have the solo control, the mute control, low pass, high pass. You can change the tuning should you want to, and you can add reverb. Now, all the reverbs I'm using in the demo are completely from World Suite and out of the box. So they can go from, let's just very quickly solo. So those drums are really, really dry. So you can go a little bit extreme with reverb. Now, the other amazing thing about this is, let's say you don't like, let's say, this string line, you can just change it to another one. Or another one. And then let's change the bazooki. And the Taurus and the Zaz. Okay, sorry, my pronunciation wasn't very good there. The Zoras and the Zaz. And you can just build these like instant ensembles really, really quickly. Now in terms of arrangement, you can create multiple tracks of these and bring in different elements each time. So you can start off with just the strings and add the percussion and gradually you create a piece. Throw some loops on there and you have a really, really quick world music sketch. So these travellers are really, really great. Now, I have to admit, I use the Travellers all the time. When I'm building a world music piece, this is generally where I start. And at the top, you can have various different um, options and pre-made ensembles. So if I go for Persian Nights. Okay, it sounds brilliant. Let's go for Seven. And they just loop and loop and loop. Um, Tripolis. Okay, and you can just open any of these you want. So there's a Georgian traveller. Go Cuban. Uh, 
Africa. And let's finish with West Indies. So to finish, um, well, create a piece really, really quickly and then obviously finish it off. Um, I just use one of these as a foundation, add loops, add playable instruments and boom. Um, it just shows how quick and easy it is to create authentic world music. Now, the other bit I haven't shown is the vocal traveler. Okay. And you have um, different sections this time. So you have a drone, then different voices that will fit over it. So if I was play a C drone. those all fit together now once again you have almost the same controls you can change the sample start and the speed um i don't know why i wiggled my mouse around so much there but there we go and uh, you can change the drone for a start so let's go um let's do an e this time <laughs> Let's say the drone's a little, a uh, little bit too loud. So, and they all fit together. So I'm keeping to the same um, notes of, let's say, an E minor chord. So if I play, uh, let's just play a G sharp. So they are key specific, so you need to keep things the same. Um, and then the voices you can just change. So uh, just scroll across voice A, uh, I'll stay on E minor. <laughs> that works very, very well. Um, let's just uh, increase the volume, get that real big cinematic sound, and try a different drone. It's quite synthy. Um, so you can just open up and uh, let's go uh, ethereal pad. fifth harmonies there and yeah you just find exactly what you want but for those cinematic moments once again if you want to treat it as just a vocal instrument oh excuse me so you can play the um, vocal phrases. If you go by region here, you can find the loops that we use. Oh. 
Now that was a random example. Very, very cool. Um, but yes, I, I didn't pre-plan that one. Um, sounds a so and all is all all I did when it was so some Middle Eastern vocals. Let's go for a diva. So the vocal content is absolutely fantastic. Nice. You can also use the vocal traveler and just load it up really, really quickly. If I use a drone and play at random. Okay, so a really, really quick way of just getting some cinematic vocals into um, your compositions. Now, the great thing about all these travellers, you can just randomise. So you can just create almost endless combinations. There is no chance with any of these travellers, especially randomising them, you're going to get every single combination. So in terms of creativity and making sure you're not sounding the same all the time, when you combine the travellers and loops and playable instruments, you have you know a, a powerhouse of world music. The options are virtually endless. So that brings me to the end of my World Suite 2 review. The the demos that really, really resonate with me are the Jordan Rudess demos because they are absolutely on, on a different planet. They show what this library can do um, exceptionally well. Now, who is this library for? Well, it's for any film, media, uh, video game composer, anyone who needs to inject a world influence into their music and as a working composer you, you will find moments where you need to find an instrument which you may have never heard of before and you have to be able to recreate it in a virtual environment. Now World Suite 2 excels at that. There are instruments I've never heard of before um, and I do make a lot of world music so it's incredible how deep and diverse the instrumentation is. Um, the sampling is UVI top quality as usual. It is so clean and clear and I haven't found anything in the library that I cannot use. In terms of usability there is so much content this could be the only world instrument you need. Um, obviously if you're looking for instruments with really extended playable articulations then maybe World Suite won't cover absolutely everything um, but it comes really really close and again I've not been using this and thought oh I'd like to be able to do that and I can't. Everything I need to do is here and like I say as a working composer you need to have um, a really quick workflow and you need instruments that can slot straight into your template or be your go-to instruments. So World Suite is absolutely brilliant for that as an all-in-one world suite of instruments it is you know unbeatable. If I'm looking for areas for improvement I have to admit I'm really really struggling to find anything that I change. If I was being really nitpicky um, I would say yes I've, I've already mentioned extended articulations um, but we're talking really really extended things. Um, some patches I didn't show because they weren't relevant to the video were effects patches. So you can have an instrument and then all the effects like the breathing and the instrument uh, mechanical noises, they're all there as well. So they're really, really cool features. So within an instrument, I, I just feel like it has absolutely everything. There are volume disparities between patches and that's absolutely fine. As I said, every instrument's different and these aren't very dramatic. You won't have, you know, something sounding great and then something, you know, minus 15 dB. They're just minor little tweaks. So I'm sure UVI will keep adding more instruments and there may be a World Suite 3 in sort of, uh, you know, three, four years time. Um, but for, like I say, an all-in-one, this is phenomenal value for money and just an all-round superb instrument. 
thank you so much for checking out our review of World Suite 2 by UVI. Feel free to leave us a comment, let us know what you think about the instrument, maybe what you'd improve or what would you like to see in the next version, and also, really importantly, how would you use this in your workflow. Pop over to samplelibreview.com to check out all of our other brilliant reviews and also subscribe to our YouTube channel. Have an absolute fabulous day wherever you may be. Thank you.